because eventually you become more efficient at your job. So if I were to start, um, if I started at the beginning and I was just doing hourly stuff and I wanted to um, replace a bathroom fan and that generally speaking took me three hours. But then I did 13 of them and I cut that time in half because I just knew how to do everything. I wasn't reading instructions and all that stuff. Um, I still want to charge $300. I don't want to make $150 off of that. I want to make the $300, but get the job done faster. So for me, it was always a matter of, I moved the bid because I can make more money off that bid if I am more efficient. Um, I think time and materials is great as an exploration, but the actual scaling up of business is uh, uh, on a bid version of that. Yeah, it's like your version, you know, version 2.0 versus version 1.0. Yeah. Makes sense to start at the hourly, figure out what's going on. I would like to also point out something that most of my handyman clients are, it's like this light bulb moment. You have a bathroom fan job and you're providing the bathroom fan. You go to the customer, you go to see the house, you see the size of the bathroom fan, you figure out whatever the specifications are that that bathroom fan needs, and then you drive to your local hardware store and you buy it for them, and then you come back, you're calculating that time that you're going and doing that, and the customer is paying for that time too. You're not giving free time going to the hardware store. They're paying for that, and they're paying a markup on the um, the actual cost of the item, and they're doing that as well because they're using your expertise and your knowledge of what is needed instead of them having to be like, oh, I'll find it on Amazon. Now, some people might not want to pay the markup, and they'll choose to buy it on Amazon, and you can let them do that. That's totally fine. But you got to think of it's not just the time that the tools are in your hand and you've got the saw thingy. I don't even know the name of it. The yeah. saw thingy in the ceiling. <laughs> Um, that's not the only time that you're accounting for when you're creating a bid or you're doing hourly. They're paying for your time and as long as you're there doing it, whether that's at the hardware store or not, they should pay for it. Yeah. They don't have trucks and vans that pick up materials. I do. Mm -hmm. And they're going to pay for my tools and expertise. So and I, they're, they're going to pay for me driving there and they're going to be paid for me driving back. I'm going to build that into my bid. Mm -hmm. So if I know that, you know, like, I, so if I know that I have to provide materials, I'm going to add that hour into my bid. So if it was $300, $300 now it's $400 or, you know, depending on whatever um, price point you're at. Like some I'm just adding the hour basically. Yeah. Some customers want, might be like, great, sounds good. Some customers might have a conversation say, oh, I'd rather save the money. That's a conversation you have with them. But your default starter should be or paying attention to all of the time that you're spending and charging for it. Um, the more that you can get to, this is the price for the whole job, the more yeses business. you'll get from a customer. Yeah. Customers don't typically want to negotiate that much. There are exceptions to that rule. But, um, but for the most part, people want to say, what's the price? Can I afford that or not? Yes, we can. Let's go with it. Yeah. I trust those people. They seem like high quality people. And I know that they're going to do a good job of putting a bathroom fan in my bathroom. Mm -hmm. And I won't have a bunch of um, steam in my bathroom every time I take a shower. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Ultimately, that's the problem that we're solving. It's like, is $500 worth being able to see yourself in the mirror for the next 10 years? And for most people, the answer is yes. Yeah.